No one is above blocking. blocking. Welcome, guys. You're now locked into another episode of Death Centered Podcast, hosted by yours truly, me, Len Sophia. And yours, too. Yes, guys. Welcome to another episode. Um, If you guys haven't heard any other episode, go back and do listen. Um, I can promise you, you will not be disappointed if you're new. Welcome, we appreciate, we appreciate you tuning into this episode. Um, if you've stumbled across us on Spotify, do check us out on at the the Censored Podcast on Instagram. Yeah. Um, and then there's a link in the bio where you can just go and check out many different things. We've got a couple of videos on YouTube. So yeah, welcome, bienvenidos, bienvenidos. Um, yeah, how are you today, Tiwa? I'm tired. Why? Why are you tired? I'm just tired of lacking on minimum sleep. I feel like I just need to be in my bed. Why well, have you had minimum sleep? Because you go out and then you have to go in the morning, go to work in the morning. Yeah, but so it's like not a you problem. No, because it's not even like I went out, like out, out. But you went out? I didn't go out. The day yesterday? Yeah, I didn't go out like that. So, so why are you tired? I'm just tired. I'm just actually just tired. Like sleep, I'm just, just not going to bed. I went to bed early. That's the funniest thing. It was too hot to sleep. So I was up between 12 and 1 fighting sleep. And then I had to be up for like 4.50. So, so what, ta- what time did you go to bed? I was in bed by 10. Okay. What time did you fall asleep? Struggle. By 10.30 latest. And then it was hot. So I was up 12 and 1 fighting the duvet. If it was on or off. Between the legs. It was just it was the weather was doing a lot and yeah just bare tired I have to get up early for work isn't it but yeah how are you I'm all right surviving the day <laughs> yeah don't blame me too tough been off a few days so been chilling so you're just enjoying it yeah just been chilling that's all you can do isn't it but yeah on that note, what's your fun fact for this week? Um, or should we say fun fact or? What? I don't know, there was something else I was going to say, but it kind of just slipped to my head. No, it's a fun fact this week. Okay, go on. Yeah, it's not like other week. last week we talked about sickle cell. But yeah. Educational fact, that's what I was going to say. No, not this week. Not this week. But yeah, last week we spoke about sickle cell. Why well, did anyway? And yeah. If you haven't got yourself tested, why not? Go and get the blood test, guys. Yes, See if you're a sickle cell carrier, please, 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 for your future and your children's future. But anyway, my fun fact of this week is a woodpecker. I've heard this one. Wraps mm-hmm. his tongue around his brain when it pecks the tree, when it's hammering the tree, so he doesn't get brain damage. Have you heard that? No, that's a different one. Yeah, so he wraps his tongue around his brain to cushion it. So when he hammers the tree, he doesn't get no brain damage. It protects the brain. Okay. That is very interesting. So So it's not just banging his head for the sake of banging his head. Makes sense. So my riddle from last week's episode was, what's a four-letter word that ends in K and means the same as intercourse? Did you get it? I didn't bother, if I'm being honest. Oh. Um, It's talk. So that's what's the four letter words that ends in K and means the same as intercourse. I didn't get it at first, but it took a minute. But talk. it's talk. Yeah. Like I'm talking to someone. Yeah. It means the same as intercourse. Apparently. Is there another meaning for intercourse? Uh, this was, this yeah, it baffled me, but it took me a minute to get it. When you think about Is it. Is there another can... meaning for intercourse? Because I don't, I don't know how sex can equal to talk. That's a good question. I don't know, maybe intercourse. I was trying to think, that's what I was thinking as well, but yeah, it was just an interesting one. Okay, this week's riddle is, what's made of rubber handed out in some schools and exists to prevent mistakes? That's what he's doing. It is what it is, not everyone's going to get it there. Maybe. You've heard that before, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's, it's quite easy to and erase mistakes. True. Well, my head didn't take me where. But okay, we'll so so intercourse actually means communications of or dealings between individ- individuals or groups, everyday social intercourse. So intercourse is just short I for had sexual intercourse. Yeah. 
So there's sexual intercourse where there's the sexual yeah. dealings between individuals. Mm-hmm. And then the actual word intercourse means communication or dealings between individuals or groups. So yes, now that I know the meaning, how many minutes a man can do intercourse? The average time for each couple About that is average minutes. across all the times they have had sex range from 33 seconds to 44 minutes. <laughs> That's a very big gap. So the average across all couples, though, was 5.4 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, it's around that time. But to have sex for five five minutes is quite long, though. Well, are we... If you think about it, I've never sat there for five minutes. Five minutes is a long time. Well, to be honest, you know you never sit and think of time, unless, like... No, but think about it, five minutes is a long time. No, I know it is. You know when they do... be having sex You know when they do, like, that minute silence, that's when you know a minute is long. You know a minute is long when you're doing a plank. That's when you know a minute is long. <laughs> when you do, have you had? Have you done a plank for three minutes? What am I looking for? Yeah, that shit. Time slows down. I know for a fact when I did that three minute um plank, that God Himself slowed time down. <laughs> but yeah, for, so the average time is five point four minutes. Mm. Yeah, I figured because I was reading something. Not reading. I took part in like some. We did like a set squiz game over a lockdown when we were thinking of things to do, and they come up and it was between three and five as well. Because it was just like yeah, but I'm not even surprised by that to be honest. But the question is, does that like include like four plays and stuff? No, that's intercourse. That's sexual intercourse, not both. Well, it is. It is. People can hold it for three so minutes. Taking me thirty three seconds to forty four minutes. <laughs> some people want to quit in it. Average time. So, a man can go 44 minutes. Mental. It's 33 seconds to 44 minutes. I think that's two ends of an extreme. Yeah, there's no middle ground. Because even 30 minutes is too long. Two 44 minutes. Yeah. 33 seconds, that's... Okay. Maybe five minutes isn't that long. Depends, because you're never counting time when you're busy. No. It kind of just goes. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Y- yeah, it's probably like, goes quicker than you yeah, expect. If you're doing something... You- you don't want to be doing or it hurts or it's something you want to be get done and over with it's kind of like rah this is actually quite long yeah it's like doing a work kind of like last 10 seconds and it feels like 30 so it's one of them things but if you're enjoying yourself at the moment you're never thinking of time you just what well, it is isn't it that's that that was from like a small study i personally don't feel like a man usually lasts five minutes i feel like <laughs> what do you think they last then no just seconds i just men may just get easily Men are just easy, bro. Men are easy. Easy to stimulate, easy to do anything. Bunch of holes. Speaking of men, yeah. Some guy, very cheeky. I'm actually very annoyed <laughs> at the way I was approached today. Not but not physically, but the way I was, I was messaged. God. So my sister must have just mentioned my, mentioned my, like, my out on her snap. Not yeah. even my face or anything. And I got a couple of ads in it. My sister's younger, so all these, all these ads are for me. Like 12, bro. Yeah, young, young guys, isn't it? Whatever, I didn't add, I, I don't add. When I don't know you, I'm not adding yeah, you. Yeah, just leave them there. Just leave them there. So one of the guys, he messaged me, and he just said, hey. And I replied, hey, with a question mark, innit? I was mm-hmm. like, yeah, yeah. who are you? Mm-hmm. And then he voice notes me, and he goes, take me off your subscription, because I'm not one of your little friends. <laughs> I was so flabbergasted at the response? way he responded. He, first of all, he came with so much vim. vim yeah. He went, take me off your subscription because I'm not one of your little friends. Do you know Do you know how... I guarantee you this guy is younger than me. 100%. Yeah? Did, Don't speak to your elders like this. No, no, I messaged her and I yeah. screenshotted the request and I said, who this? are these guys? Yeah, like, yeah, who's yeah. adding me? She's like, oh, I'm sorry. I get like one, one over 1K views and shit. Yeah. I said... First of all, you need to go and delete some people. But, yeah, he messaged me this. And I resp- and I just messaged him. I said, wait, 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 wait. Like, literally, wait, ho- hold on. Hold <laughs> yeah. on, wait a minute. I, I said, I don't know who you are. Yeah. Like, I don't know who you are. What do you want me to say? I have no clue who you are. And I just put a laughing face and said, don't make me laugh. Like, don't. <laughs> you're you're yeah. funny. And he's, and he's voice note. Let's see what his voice note is. <laughs> Let's put this dumb guy on blast. Let's see what he said. You can keep me in your subscriptions like I'm a fan, though. I'm sending you a couple older. pictures of me anyway. Just to shut you up and then you know what I look like. <laughs> oh, I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to shut you up. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold 
on. Yeah. I can't. Wait, I can't. Hold on. Man them, man them will not come and kill me. No, well, I, look, let's listen to this properly. I didn't hear right, properly. Keep... Don't mean you can keep me in the subscriptions like I'm a fan, though. I'm going to send you a couple pictures of me anyway. Just to shut you up and let you know what I look like. It's the confidence for me. Don't make you laugh. Where are you from as well, though, miss? It's the confidence for me. <laughs> it's the confidence for me. I said, where are you from, though, miss? No, nah, you should start for a picture. And that's what listen, age when listen, he sent no, wait, a picture. Listen, 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 listen. Because I want to see listen, listen, the confidence listen, talking. Listen. I'm about to ask, how old are you? With the picture, I want to see the person talking with so much vim. No, what? What what's going on in this society? Nah, is this how I'm bold. getting approached? Man said to shut you up. So it's not I attractive. can't lie to you. No cap. If he says his picture and he's not nice, I'm telling him you're ugly. <laughs> Just because he came with this energy, Vim. If he's not nice, he, yeah. I'm I'm blocking. I said, listen, bro, I'm not interested. Because <laughs> he came with this energy, so yeah. I'll, maybe I'll have you have to back separate... it. You have to. He has to back it. That's what I'm saying. He has to send it with picture and age. <laughs> You sound like a grown man, I'm not going to lie. No, he sounds young to me. Do you think so? Yeah, he sounds young to me. He's got a deep voice, but I feel like it's a deep voice. He just came out of puberty type deep voice. <laughs> no, he sounds young to me. I'll give him like 20. I'd have said that at least 26. No way. All right, let's go I, on. I, I can put money down. He's younger than me. Go on. But your sister knows a few older people. That's why I'm not like, right, I'm not too then. surprised. Go on then. Shut Tell me you. up. Um... Area or country? Actually, I'm not even going to say that. No, just, even... just send a picture of age. All right, go on, try and set me up. How old are you? I said, like, I'm a fan. Yeah, you are a fan. How about that? Because he added you with no picture, so he is a fan. So He's a not... flipping fan. He's a d- goddamn fan. Like, don't keep me like I'm a fan. You're a fan. <laughs> You're a fan. No, this man's really stupid. Confidence. Like, stupid. I might start. You know what? When I deep the way people talk, it's actually funny. Because in the moment, you don't process it. So, remember I told you yesterday, didn't it? So, I was sitting in the car. I had stuff in the car, so I told someone to set the back. So, mm-hmm. I was like, I had mm-hmm. asked my little brother to set the back, in it Because I had stuff in my passenger seat. So, while I'm sitting there, caught in traffic, absolutely fuming. I was sitting in that traffic for 30 minutes. I had planned my time home. I was just pissed because there's two ways home, but I'm taking the longer way, apparently. Yeah. So, I was just fuming. I was just sitting there like, I'm trying to be home by nine. Like, this ain't it. Da, da. So, this man's like... He's talking, he's put down his back window because I'm a bit further back and he's forward. Is it an uncle? It's an uncle. Yeah. So he's put down his back window and he's talking, talking. And I'm like, looking at someone like, who is he talking to? At first I thought he was just on the phone mm-hmm. and he's just loud. And he's like, no, no, excuse me, move forward please. I just want to ask you something. <laughs> so but, so oh, he's fo- he's driving, speaking out his back yeah, window. Yeah, yeah. But I'm oh, thinking, how have you seen me? Because I'm not even paying him no mind. I'm upset that I'm stuck in traffic, whatever. So I move forward now. Then he goes... <laughs> I did deep it to after. Then he goes, is this area congestion charge? I said, yes. I said, I am uh, uncle it yeah. is now. We have to... But I did deep it to after. Go pay it. your 50. So I just said, was it congestion charge? No. I didn't oh. buy the ferry in Woolwich. Oh, he's just trying to move to Yeah, you. but I didn't deep. I was just thinking, no. But I know, like, the ferry Woolwich is coming to become Ulids. So I was like, if your car is Ulids, you've got to pay your Ulids, isn't no, it? No, but apparently Ulids is only the North Circular and South Circular. They're road. bringing it here come November. No, but it's only the North Circle and South Circular Road, the A four six and the A something something. Oh uh, well, it doesn't so affect me anyway. I don't, I don't anyway. think it's the the small roads in between you and stuff. Okay. Because you already got the U less signs there already. Mm-hmm. Anyway. But that don't affect me. U less don't bother me. So I was just like, no, but I think it might be. But does your one come do, do. under the thing? I'm no U less. I don't pay for U less. Oh. Yeah. Because well, your petrol. Yeah. So I was just like, some petrol do as well. It just depends on what kind of car you are. Mm. But I was just like, um, no, it's not. Do do do. So Tom was in the car just sitting, whatever, he didn't care. Then he goes, what's your name? So Tom was started laughing. <laughs> Tom was started laughing. I'm like, Sarah. Then he starts laughing even more. Then, oh, he was like, he, then he was like, have you got a kid in the car? I said, yeah, yeah, I've got my son, my son in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I've got Don't my son in the car. Don't you in my son. And then he was like, ah, oh, are you single? I said, why? I beg, I have a son. <laughs> you must have I a said, father. He said, can I get to know you? I said, uncle, I'm sorry. No, I literally called him uncle. You should have said, no, I'm, I'm said, married. Can I said, you see my uncle, son I'm back? sorry. No, he said, why? I said, where are you from? I said, I'm Ghanaian. He said, ah, oh, all you Ghanaian people, you like I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, I was so just he was so like, he was Ghanaian now. And he starts speaking to you in three. No, he wasn't Ghanaian, I could tell. You know when you just know. I could... Then it's like listening to Ghanaian music. So he put up the volume. He's like, look, they're speaking to you. <laughs> I 
couldn't stop laughing. And it's like, I can't move forward and I can't move back. We're stuck yeah. here. There's no ifs and buts. So we're just out here making conversation. Then after the little urge I got to move forward, I just moved forward. And I was like, okay. Then I go to work today. I'm just so over it. I'm sitting, this guy's coming. I just had a feeling like, you know, sometimes you just know someone wants to talk to you. So I just sat there. Another uncle. It's like meaty. It's like in between. He's not really an uncle, but you can be classified as one. He's one of them ones. So I'm just sitting there like, okay, cool. He's coming, but I'm serving customers. He's just like, oh, hey, T. They talk about me. At this point, they talk about me because a lot of them know my name and I don't wear name badge. So I was just like, okay, hey, like, I hope you're all right. He's like, yeah, I'm just coming from night shift. I said, cool, but I'm still dealing with customers, so he's gone through. Mm-hmm. He's finished now. He's come down, yeah. <laughs> night, he's an idiot. So I'm standing there, yeah, and then he's come. He just comes to talk to me. I was like, how's your session? You're walking funny. He was like, yeah, it's leg day. I always regret leg day. I was like, I was just making small talk in it. I was like, I hope um, at least you got in. Got in. A lot of people don't get leg day. And he was like, yeah, I have to. You would have, would have, woo. And then he was like, if you don't mind me, ask. If you don't, huh? And some of these guys out here walking around with no cars. Can you imagine just big upper body? And then he was like, if you don't mind me asking, can I take you out for lunch or something? I was like, I'm not going to be rude or disrespectful. It's just a no. I can't do it. And then there's no point in me giving you a number because I, I won't reply. And then you get upset. And I just don't. It was like, I respect you for saying that. But if you do change your mind. So Natalie's walked her. Natalie said, she's not going out with you if you're not buying food. She's like, I'll buy food. What do you want to eat? I said, like, don't listen to her. I said, I'm actually all right. He's like, no, I'm being serious. I was like, I'm being serious too. You're going to be offended if I give you my number now. I'm not replying. You're going to come into work like, see my my friend and tell me you haven't replied to my message. And I'll tell you, okay? I wanted him to be right. And then he was like, I'd rather you say no. He was like, I'll come again in September. I was like, I'll let you know then, innit? Wouldn't you come again in September? I said, I'll let you know. He was like, I'll come and ask you again in September. Maybe you want to go for lunch. I said, I'll let you know then. But I was like, for now, there's no point wasting your time. Straight up. And he was like, okay. And I was like, you lot don't get bored. Like, you lot don't actually get bored. And it's the same, similar type, short, wham, big. I was just no, like, honestly, yeah, no. I'm actually done with they're, they're too funny. They're the ones who are funny. supposed to, to turn around and chat, chat. They don't. Me. They don't. Because, like, today I was in Woolwich, yeah? You were in Woolwich? What are you looking for? Um, I need to go to a hair shop to buy beads for my hair. Okay. I want to put beads in, but okay. I didn't find any nice beads. I'm going for, first of all, I might have some closed. upstairs, to be fair. What type of beads you have? I'm not sure. I, if I'm not friendly or whatever, I usually... Mm. I'm not sure. I'll check. And these big beads, though. No, they have. No, no, no. I don't want those little small. I'm my child. Mm. But, my um, auntie's got big beads. I'll ask for you. But, um, but yeah, so they obviously the hair shop was closed and whatnot, yeah. So I was walking back to my car and this just this chalk, this dark chocolate. Tall. Specimen, specimen of a man walked past me, yeah. And you got a dragon. No, 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 no. He looked flipping presentable. Okay. Not do right. Looked like he just came from work. Looked like um, he just smart went clean. clean? Well, it was, it was like yeah, it was clean. It was clean. Casual. Yeah, but he looked like he just came from doing something good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Came from working hard. So he walked past me, and and I've I've looked at him, and he looked like he takes off. He's wearing headphones in, and he looked like he took one of his headphones out. You face <laughs> I slowed down a little bit just to see just to see and confirm I didn't feel not even, not even one little tap on my shoulder not even excuse me can I speak not even hey miss hello 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 that's just the time it's the ones that you that's the time I need to tell my cause no cause the way he the way he went to the way he took off these, these just the timing of it it not, maybe. Yeah, it maybe, might be just with the maybe, time of it. But the way he took off his headphone, it may, I definitely felt like he was about to come and chat to man, but he didn't even bother chatting to me. Nah, it's the, the only thing, want... thing you find in Woolwich is flipping old Nigerian men. <laughs> them uncles. It's watching the... you when you walk past. Hello, like, sweetie. Hello, sweetheart. One of them, see one... them. You just see them turn their One of them said, you look pretty. I said, thank you, and carried on walking. He said, um, no name. I said, no name. He said, no name, girl, how are you? I said, this lot will not come and kill me. Get, which really should they get it, bro? <laughs> no. No, but it's the one that should or you expect or you want that don't ever do it. And Never. it's just like... Like, why are you scared? <laughs> like, bro, I'll, I will stop and talk to you. You're not the usual one that I wouldn't stop and talk exactly. to you. Like, nah, if, you're, if you're a street one, you get, you get spoken to. 100%. I wouldn't even blink an eye twice, mate. You get spoken to, and then after a while, I feel like you're boring, and it is what it is, but... <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely give you the time of day. Listen, I I get bored to give you the time of day. Definitely give you the time of day. But you got these men in my head, you got these meaty ones. And it's the, to it's the confidence for the people that you don't expect to have that have them. And it's just like, I want this, but not from you. Not, honestly, 
Honestly. If the just... right person come with this, I'll take it. But for you, and he's just like, oh. No, but it's just having... Oh. But some guys are actually very respectful when they move to you. Like, yeah. Very respectful. Yeah, even and the I one today it. I thought was quite respectful. It, it wasn't offended. It was no, just yeah, like, exactly. yeah. I love didn't it. take no offence to when it. When I told you no, it's said, uh, oh, no, all right, cool. I just came anyway to tell you I'm beautiful. Yeah, whatnot. you I didn't like... Step in. Yeah. I appreciate my brother. Have a nice yeah, one. And that's Have a nice it. one. No, oh, no, but wait, hold on. But we can... But it's quite scary lately, especially like with what you see out there with people saying no and how some of them react and stuff. Listen, I'm in a two-year committed relationship. <laughs> That's what Don't I'm start in. telling people now. I'm in a two year committed <laughs> relationship. For for half of the guys I've moved you're to. You're out here telling people and you're out here blocking your own blessings. You never know. Someone might want to come move to you and now they hear you're in a two year relationship and that's, back away. That's never stopped someone. <laughs> You'd be surprised. The that's good one. It'll stop the good one. It will stop the good one. Listen, I've proclaimed my singleness in this podcast plenty many a times <laughs> and no one has come and moved to me in my DM. So you, you never you be when you start getting them, yeah. No, but I'm saying it's for to certain man, I'm in a committed two year relationship. Okay, cool. Certain guys in this earth believe that I'm in a two year committed relationship. Yeah, but I feel like I should that's be able going, to tell you. That's going strong. I feel like I should be able to tell you I'm single and I'm single, like, and I just don't want to talk to you. Like I don't feel like you should be. Able, why should I have to lie and tell you what my like makes like? Why should I have to make, lie? It just makes life easier. It does. Just but... for me to tell you I have a boyfriend, it's I look like nine times out of ten the guy. Yeah, he put some guys will try and do something more, but nine times out of ten, he's just like, ah, you know what, cool. Yeah, but that's rare. Some of them still push their limit. No, yeah, I'll so be here when you finish. No, but you've got, you've got that, you've got that do, dumb do, do, do. guy that will push it on, but more time, if you tell a guy you've got a boyfriend, he doesn't continue trying to move to you. So, it makes my life easier, isn't it? Oh, can I get a snap? Oh, I can't. Sorry, I have a boyfriend. Sorry, sorry. No, I hear you. So it's just easy to do that, isn't it? I mm. love a time. I love time to say no, and then it's like, oh wow, why are you saying no for? I d- if I'm not sometimes interested. I just say no. And I say, yeah. Listen, depends. Like, nah, I don't if have the depends on the no. night, the night and the time and where you're moving to me. That depends on the answers I give you. Nah. Yeah. Because it's always the same. If 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 it's a no, if it's a thing where I feel like you might feel icky, iffy about my answer, I'm just gonna say, yeah, you can have number, and I'll block it straight then and then. There's nothing you can do about it. I just, want to, I just, I don't have time for the headache. Then you, I'm in a relationship. How long have you been in a relationship for? Two is it years. Solid? Duh, yes. Duh, duh, duh. Are you sure it's gonna last? Is yes. Gonna put a ring on it. Yes. Duh, duh, duh. Yes. I don't feel understand. I've got a flipping. Um, <laughs> What's his name? How does he? T- when's he born? I've got enough guys in my phone I can call and just be like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to pretend that you're my boyfriend. <laughs> bro, bro, <laughs> and then and the, and they will go along with it. They will go along with it. So question me. I have man them I can tell you question question me. Now nah, I don't see anyone going that far to wanting to speak no, and believe no, what but, I'm, but saying. I'm saying. Question me. Question mm. me. I told you two years, he's this, he's doing this, he works like this, he does this, blah blah blah. blah. I'll make something up. No, it's just I don't have time for it. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit easier just to say I hear that, I hear that, because it's like there's no point in having to say why don't you want to give my number? Duh, yeah, duh. Exactly. Some like... of them just get bare pushy. No, I've given my mum's number like too many times. I'll be like, call it. It'll ring. I'll be like, oh yeah, I've just got it through. If you like start disturbing my mum, that's a you problem. But it's her old number, isn't it? So her old number oh. still rings. I can't give her a personal number, but it'll be like, I, I, that number I know off the top of my head. It rings, but I don't know whose number we use it it's now. Cool, it? Yeah, so it's just like, okay, <laughs> here you go. Try it and then I wish you all the best. I'm, I'm tired, but I'm not tired. Because I'm not against a guy moving to me. Yeah. But I just feel like I don't, I don't have the luxury of saying no. So, if you move to me, I'm just going to tell you I'm a boyfriend. <laughs> but then you have the luxury of saying no. You say like you're being restricted to say no. The way man the move, yeah, I am being restricted to say no. Right, if you say no, you say, you say no. no to, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you get, then after he follows you home and beats you the shit out of you, you're going home and you're there left <laughs> dead on the street. Exactly, no, nah, that's not me. No, but that's what I'm saying. Nah, Depends on me. the environment you're moving nah, to me. I'm me. telling you You can tell him at is. work. No, I'm not interested. And yeah. then he's waiting for you to leave your work job. Nah, God T-Y, forbid. that's when, like I said, as I like to take precautions and the last thing I'm going to do is tell the wrong person now. No, I hear that, but why should I have to lie? Sometimes I won't even tell yeah, my head. Yeah, of course, why should you have to lie, but... I heard it's, well, it's the world we live in. I be safe than sorry, innit? 100%. We'll be safe than sorry, but sometimes... If it's, if my plan is already...
they've been like Twitter's been the one on two things I come across and it was just the funniest thing ever. I don't use Twitter like that, so when I come across things, it's just funny to me. Well, someone said, if we're not married, why would I give a child I carried for nine months your last name? Why and how? I saw that, and I thought that was a bit fifty-fifty. You weren't married when you slept with him. You know what I'm saying? Like you knew what you were doing. If you didn't want to conceive a child, you don't have to. Like what? Like yeah, but she didn't go in the purpose of conceiving a child. She went. She went in the purpose of getting her back blown, and unfortunately okay. led to her. I like, heard that, but a child. still, in but, the situation you're in, you knew what you were going yourself into. If you knew you didn't want to have a child, be protective about it. Don't go into something. Then when and then it's different because it's not like the way you kind of come across is like. But the, but the point is, is it's not invalid though. It's not. I'm not. I'm not dismissing. It's not. But the way it came across is like. I didn't fully agree to it because it's like. It kind of seemed like the person wants to be there, but because they haven't put a ring on it, you're not going to give them a child's name. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's pettiness. Yeah, it's proper petty. Because it's like, now you're giving me a... Automation. Yes, thank you. And it's like, there's no need for that. You kind of knew... Whatever the situation was, there's no backstory to it, whatever. But whatever the situation was, it's just like... It's different if I'm not trying to claim the child. I don't want the child, but mm. I'm claiming the child. I want the child to have my name. I want to... That's what it kind of come across like. And it's like, I'm not going to give it to you because you didn't put a ring on it. Because you're not married. I'm sorry. If we're doing yeah. it like that, you shouldn't be having sex till you're married then. If we're doing it like that. If that's the case, I just put my surname in my child as well. Everyone, yeah, you, everyone we have one surname. surname. Everyone gets a surname. Even if you don't want it, even if you don't want it to be the like the final surname, you want it... Bro, everyone, st- gets, everyone a gets a surname. surname. Because I was just like... uh. But my child will have my surname as well. I don't... Yeah, that's the thing. I'm not against it. But, but it was why, just the fact should, of you not having... Why my husband's legacy be taken up? <laughs> no, I'm it, not... the legacy starts with a woman, isn't it? Yeah. Because my surname gets changed. Yeah. But I'm not, like, here for... I don't care what the surname is. It was just the fact that you said you won't put it until he puts a ring on it. That's what it was. No, she did, I feel like she said it. We're not married, so I'm not obliged to put your, your, your surname in my child's surname. Which is true, but... Yeah. Mm didn't fully agree to it per se but each of their own I, 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 that's definitely out of pettiness I don't feel like 100%. I feel like giving if if he is a, ch- um, a father who wants to be in a child's life giving the child his surname is really there's no problem to it like it's not going to cause an issue if the father's in the son's life or the daughter's life but mm-hmm. if the father's absent and he's just wants there like he's not doing anything but he wants the child to have his surname because he's his child first of all you must send some money for your child <laughs> your child's diapers how about that before i mm-hmm. decide to put um your name i'm happy to just have my, my surname in my child it is in this day and age yeah anyone can have a surname at this point i could even give you a random son i'll give you my one surname if that's but the apparently case. surnames came from the colonizers you know at one point people well, am I not surprised at people this point? were like were just walking around with one name. Like the idea of passing the name down. Imagine just walking around Sarah. No, but Sarah. The idea mm. of passing the name down. Well, I, I, I read this from the indigenous, indigenous people, um, from Hawaii and stuff. And okay. the girl was saying that in Hawaii that they had their own they were walking around with just one name. And the idea of surnames only came about when the British Yeah, it's like ownership. Yeah, well, yeah. You're yeah. the owner of Mister. Yeah, 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 yeah. When the British came around and started giving everyone in Hawaii like surnames, they'd be like trying to shame them from only yeah. having one name. It's like you're the owner of Mister. Duh, 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 duh. And yeah, and they started having like white names and stuff. Mm. Which makes sense. I don't see why. I don't know, but I do. I I think like that's more. To, I feel like in Africa they've always had their names. I feel like that's without the colonial. I, I'm comments. sure I've got like twenty names, but you know we move. I feel like it's always been passed down when you take your the legacy of your father and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's very cultural. What you posted about the on our page, you posted about the um people signing petition to remove. What's this guy? Oh, name? Kevin. Ke- Sem- Kev- Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Samuels. Yeah. Yeah. What are you your thoughts it? on that? I didn't even open the page because yeah, um, someone, did you see the DMs? No. Um, Joe replied to DM and said, what are your opinions and stuff oh. like that? And then I was literally like, personally, what he says and stuff don't affect me, but yeah. it triggers 
he targets the right females because he gets the yeah. right attention from them. Yeah. And I said, I'm one of the people, I'm not going to discredit what he said because sometimes he does make some points that he's like, yeah. okay, I can hear it. But knowing me, it was like, it goes through one year, it comes out the other with people speaking yeah, like that. Because it doesn't affect it me. It doesn't. I'm not triggered because what he says doesn't relate to me. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, like, that's I what I am. said. And he was like, I'm quite surprised you said that. And I was like, Ain't nah. Ain't no guy going to tell me what I should or shouldn't be doing. So that's why what he says doesn't trigger me. Yeah, sometimes, obviously, the way he speaks is it's a bit, mad yeah. or whatever. But I'm not triggered by it. That's what I said. I was like, and I'm not going to be one to be like, oh, I, did I was like, I'm not going to discredit what he does. Like, it makes to a certain degree there's some points that it makes that you can hear him out and you can be like yeah okay, he's not everything yeah. he says some points is he nails it on the head and then i was just like but people just it was like are you gonna it? sign i was like i have no business it is what it is it was like but then he was like he doesn't think anything's gonna happen to you i was no, like i get what you said nothing's gonna happen what's the change.org um petition gonna do yeah for, that's what he said Kevin he said Samuels? like let's be honest <laughs> that's what he so said so instead of like the, then those petitions they've got like serious petitions like flipping <laughs> the free palestinian yeah, yeah, racism yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let Kevin Samuels. you got the you know what I mean? you got all these type of things on change.org yeah let, let the they're whole telling Kevin me Samuels. people they're gonna the whole government's gonna stop and look at go and cancel <laughs> Kevin Samuels because a bunch of women don't like what he's saying. If you don't like what he's saying, do you know just what you can do? Don't listen. Don't flipping listen. Every time you see Kevin Samuels, just yeah, it. click away. And if you, if anything, yeah, remove away. him. Remove him from like anything. Unfollow that, him. Unfollow or follow him. people that repost him. Unfollow things. Remove listen, things that bothers listen, you. Or mute people it. People in this day and age like to be relevant. They like to feel like they're spoken about. So they're going to put themselves in, in a position like this with Kevin Samuels. They're going to put themselves in shoes that don't even fit them. Can you imagine? That situation have nothing to do with them at all, but they want to feel like they've been triggered. This idea of, I'm triggered, I'm triggered, I'm triggered, I'm triggered. You're but not why? triggered. You're not triggered. You're triggered by listen, someone that doesn't even know you exist. He doesn't care. We, we have gone back and forth. Ladies have gone back and forth about this guy. We are giving him the limelight, the 15 second fame that he wants and that he needs, the the the, the fame that's paying his bills, we are giving to him. Every time we speak about him, this change.org has, uh, some more people have come across Kevin Samuels, some new people mm-hmm. are going to go watch him. Mm-hmm. We're, 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 we're the ones adding fuel And to even the fire. with that, how can, we how bring can you limelight what, to him. That's what I said, how can you see him doing what he's doing to other ladies and then put yourself in a position, go live with him as well? What do you think he's going to do? You know, people go on there just to get what some kind of... What do you think he's going to do? They think they're different. That's why they go on there. I feel like Bro, a lot of people you're, go you're on the there same. to not get read by you're him. And then the when they get read by him, they're surprised. As the last two women that came on saying that they have two children and two different baby daddies, yeah. he's going to read you the same way he's yeah. read the other two women. It's not going to change at all. So why do you think you're different? And then when it happens, it happens. It's, and then the thing is, they, he will read them and they're just there, and they go back and forth with him. Come off of it. It's not by force for you to be there. And he and he, and he says it's not by force for you to come on here. And yeah, speak you to like me. choose. You choose to speak to me. Now, when I say something, you, <laughs> you get offended. Like, yeah. You already know how he is. So now you you're ask, of, now you're asking to be offended. Because even with the um petition thing you lot have created, now he's you're bringing more lime, limelight to yeah, him. Because a lot of people that said. don't know about it be like, why is there a petition about this man? That's exactly what I just said. Literally, it's pointless. It's pointless. You're just, you're just giving him more fame. And... So it's within the people he speaks to, yeah, one of his fellow followings, one of his fellow guys have gone and posted <laughs> <laughs> signs of a, quali- of a quality woman. You seen that? No. It says... I don't be on Instagram like that. So. Mm? It said Instagram to talk to them. Yeah. Like it says submissive one fit and healthy not fat mm-hmm. <laughs> respect a father mm-hmm. no ta- no tattoos and oh, unnecessary well, person there we go then <laughs> well there we go guys doesn't, i'm not an honorable woman doesn't Do not worship celebrities yeah not a social media junkie yeah love children yeah cooks and cleans yeah and that's it <laughs> first of all <laughs> So is he bringing Jeff Bezos money or? <laughs> because I need him. This is a long What's list. What's the guy that's paying out. a spouse um three hundred k? Dr. Dre, is it Dr. Dre? 
that it's paying its bars 300k month, yeah, weekly yeah, or monthly. monthly, monthly. Bruh, if it's not about to start giving me if double th- that. If this is not one, look, this is her divorcee. This is a divorce. Can you imagine? This. <laughs> if you're not giving me this type of money double as your wife. Who are you to ask for such? Do you know what got me? Do you know what got me? Well, it's the fitness and health, not fat. What does that mean? You're not fat enough. No, what does that actually mean? Because here's the thing. They expect you to be the same. Okay, you got to bear in mind. Okay, let's say we're in the relationship now. I'm fit and healthy when you met me. I have a kid. My body changes. I put on a bit no, of weight. What, what, what do you okay, expect? But, okay, but respectfully, if you look at it, if you look at the big, the guys who are making peas and everything, and you look at the ladies that are on their arm, more time they're these model looking ladies Mm -hmm. they're these these ladies who don't have the tattoos who don't have the piercings who are who are skinny i wouldn't say they're fit and Mm -hmm. healthy because skin does not equal healthy because your skin does not mean you're healthy Mm -hmm. listen yeah Mm -hmm. but more time this is what you see by the man's you know um Mm -hmm. you don't see quote unquote fat ladies so i feel like this is it's very narrow minded, but that's what you see. That's what you see. So I think that's that's what they're going by. I feel like a lot of it is more like that's what they're going inf- by. Influenced by social media. No, listen, but look, but look at it. But look at these guys that make money and look who's by the by the arms though. Mm. Like look who's by the arms. If we're being honest, look who's, if you look up at who's by the arms, it's gonna be these skinny white girls or <laughs> black girls or whatever. Yeah. It's it's most most just the skinny muddy looking ones. The ones that look like they haven't been fed in days. That's what you see by the arms. And then you have the other ones who have preference. They've got the nice black queens with their body, la la la. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But if you look at the top, top money makers, that's what you see by the arms. And then leave they, and they go and leave their wife who's been who's had their for five children for a new little skinny girl because of money. Because they want, they want to feel young. You know these men of money they like to feel young all the time. They like to feel. They like, don't know they're getting so, older. So, so like I feel like that that um, that implies to the one percent, to the one percent. But let's be honest, I don't want no guy that's working a nine to five that earning the same amount of money a month to come give me. Tell me this. Me this. <laughs> you get what you get. Do you know what it is? You get this is what. It, okay, what you know what? You know what? If you make money, money, you can come and do this to me. Uh, I will look at your list and be like, you know, sir, maybe see, I'm, I don't qualify to be to your 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 request. But if you're telling me we're both here making the same amount of money, working at Arsenal's Health every single day, yeah, and you're giving me this you know list, you best go. You best go elsewhere. It's, it's the shit. it's the comments for me. It's the people that I know. You're probably not even working my job, and probably working or earn not even earning. Let me not say earning, but not even doing anything it for yourself. Matter. We're all we're, we're here doing this. We're all but laborers. Yeah, you, this, this, we're both laborers. Some guy was like. Yeah, this is exactly what I need if in you my woman. If you don't get right, so I went on the page here and I was just like, oh, it's like it had to be you. I don't even understand the same way. Listen, the same way these men have these requests. If you look at these girls, they're with guys that either have a whole leap of money or they're very good looking with money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, so I hear you, that, you're not gonna but... come make uh, these type of suggestions when you don't when you're a two out of ten. Because now, go- now we're going Kevin Samuels mode, yeah? You're not going to give me the suggestion you're 2 out of 10 when you yourself have a pop belly because you have to do is eat in the weekend with your boys and drink all types of alcohol. Mm-hmm. You're working just like I'm working. You're not making any more money than I am. We're yeah? in the same pool, bro. You're not making no money than I am. We're both here. Yeah? We're the same pool yeah? on the airport pool And then what? <laughs> and then what? Oh, what, what? What now? Yeah. Are you trying to- and your headlines already receding. I'm <sighs> not laughing. Are you trying to make this type of request? No. Only men? Who make ten million figures can, can come, come and chat to me and I'll tell go me, to the gym for you. And tell me I have to be I know fit you and healthy. I'll go to the gym for you because I know you pay for the membership I need. In fact, the gym will be in the house. <laughs> what membership? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just find it funny. Do you know the I got but it to it's, a certain it's degree. It's this irrelevant men trying to relate to situations they're not in. I got like, it the to same thing about degree. the Dr. J thing about three hundred pounds. The men is like, oh, this is why I don't want to get married. First of all, you you ain't got that much money to pay in a year, let alone monthly. Be. you don't relate to his situation you're not you're not uh, you're not making 60 plus million dollars a, a year you wouldn't even give me up to that 300k in a year if, let alone if, two years if it happened you're probably giving me 30 pound a month that's what you're giving just me just about that even just about cover your nose this this is not what i'm saying if if we're to get become if i was to come and divorce you that's how much you could give me because the way did you have 30 pound a month so why are we here trying to correlate and trying to relate and trying to put ourselves in, in shoes 
that don't doesn't fit, fit bro. That doesn't fit. That's not your situation. Mama's, mama's, it's not your situation, but, oh, that's why I don't want to get married. We're going to take all money. What money? What money, baby? Babe. Baby boy. Babe. I respect you and I respect your hustle. But what money? What money am I taking? I feel sorry for you. I'm like, but you even then, I'm, fact, we're, not, we're, not, we're not even that silly. Imagine going to court and trying to claim money that he doesn't even earn yearly. I wouldn't even do that to you. I wouldn't even do that to you. Because... We're just about sharing the property we're living in at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> let alone having to take a court and try and earn... You probably wouldn't earn it in like five <laughs> years, let alone try to take it off you now. If people love to, people love to put themselves in, in situations that have no calling. Never. Like, not in this... Maybe in the future... By God's grace, you know, that'll be you. You'll be earning your millions and whatnot, yeah? Mm-hmm, yeah man. And then, but then if you think about h- him giving a woman £300,000 um, a month, that is what? What's three times 12? Three, what's that? Three mil? Three, three times point, 12. 3.6. Yeah. 3.6 mm-hmm. mil a year. In comparison to 60 plus mil he makes in a year. It's chump change it's for this chi- guy. Not even chi- ch- chicken. Chump change. So why are we trying to... Yeah, <laughs> act like we're in the same boat. <laughs> Really? Oh, the comments you know her, what you when know? I read things like that yeah it's the comments that gets me and then the people that talk in the comment and they talk with so much vim they talk with so much vim like they're about to provide you with that same thing and stuff and then they'll be like yeah if we can if women can make the list why can't we make the list this is what I want and I'm not going to sell for that's less. fine you know what you know what you know what go I respect find it. it I respect it no, like he's got a point. Go I find her. Speaking, everyone has their preference. The same way I'll have my preference, and I said this is my ideal man. The mm-hmm. same way every guy is allowed to say, if this is the lady you want, that's the lady you want. I wish you all but the best. But let me tell you from now. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you some free advice. The same lady you want here, she's looking for these these billion mm-hmm. million dollar guys. They're not looking for you. The ladies they're you not. want are not looking for you. They're not. Why? Because they know that they, they can. They know that the older guys they like these young girls who who look fit. So what they want to have an older guy who has made money or a younger guy or a guy of her age who doesn't make money and mm-hmm. and it's just there for the sake of being there. Don't 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 sell yourself short. Don't yeah, sell yourself short. Literally. You can you can ask for these women, but doesn't mean you're do these get women them? want you what? right? Because you're asking for it. You got to remember we, they're guys, asking for something as guys, well. Guys, you have to sit here and understand. Do what we want want us. I've asked this. Let's go back myself. to I think episode two or episode three yeah. of your. Well, I said the pool that we have, yeah. we want this type of person, but this person doesn't even want us. Mm-hmm. The half of these people are flipping LGBT LGBT community, <laughs> so they don't, they don't even want you. Then these they're ladies are looking at you. At the end of the day, you probably have one or two available, and then with that case, there's another 16, 17 men going for this one or two. So please, 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 please. please. In this life, it's about if co- it's about having a compromise. Unless you make millions of dollars, mm-hmm. you're not choosing a woman. No, Unless 100%. you make millions of dollars, you're gonna have to se- se- you have to ask yourself: Does does the woman I want, does the man I want want, want me? me? Yeah, I feel like this is when it comes to compromising. But then you're telling me you're not gonna compromise you. your list. I hear that. Don't. You up to you. But that's fine. Are the woman are gonna compromise? Why you die alone? <laughs> We're all gonna that's die alone that's, at this point. That's I didn't want you. <laughs> We're all gonna die alone at this point. We're all gonna die alone with no wife. Because or or you find or in fact you find this girl, mm-hmm. and she rinse you every single penny you have, you not to you not to humble yourself and go and go find the the queen that wanted you to begin with with who you were mm-hmm. and was able to help you to grow and become the best man the best version of yourself, and then after more more time they find this woman they become the best version of themselves let this woman go and go find that little skinny thing that they wanted from the beginning, and she can come rinse off your money. <laughs> Since we're speaking of like um, people adjusting the list or not even adjusting the list or saying this is what they want, I came across something but I thought it was very contradicting, like very. To a certain degree, I, I hear it but I don't. It said a man who refuses to change for a woman is classified as a hot, awful, weak, abusive, not a man. However, a woman who refuses to change for a man is classified as strong, self-loving, self-respecting. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Oh, so you're saying that a man who refuses to, to change, change for a is woman. a dickhead and a woman is not. Yeah, she's sinners. Yes, stand your ground. Do you? Do, do, do. Um, I don't, I don't know. I thought it was a bit 50-50 in terms of like... I could... When we speak of change, depending on what they're changing for as well. Do you know what I mean? I don't expect you to change majorly if I'm not going to change majorly as well. 
but I've spoken about this before and I've said, why are we here trying to change people? Mm-hmm. Like, are we a rehabilitation It's not even about center. the changing no, aspect. I'm saying in terms of what they classify that as, in terms of like... No, but I find it dumb for you to get to, get into relationship with someone who you know does not have the qualities you want or is absolute dickhead and then think you're just going to change them. I feel like if someone doesn't want to change, someone doesn't. They won't change unless they want to. Mm. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that. I've never. I've never come across that type of behavior. I think that that statement's a bit. I've never actually. I've never actually come across something like that. Like the idea <coughs> of a man being seen as a dickhead if he doesn't change, and all yeah. being seen as oh yeah, go girl if she does want. Like I've never actually come across that analogy. No, I just thought the statement was a bit harsh. Like, why do they have to be seen as such? Yeah, I get. It's the same way we want change, they want change. And if the statement that was put out, there was just kind of harsh on them. Like, on the men. Yeah, yeah, like, why are we... They can be that's self-love what I'm saying. and self respect you know what I'm saying? I've, that's what I'm I've never, I've never come across that idea because, yeah, I just, I just haven't. And then more time, if you really think about it, more time it's the women that want the men to change and the men is happy with yeah, having Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's how they I see heard it. that, but it's like... Because men them don't really... Men them don't really ask women to change. Mm-hmm. They, they're more time content with what they have in a woman. Whereas the woman's always quick to ask a guy to change his ways or do this, do that. I don't like how that is. I don't like how that is. I feel like that's what that's, that's come about. Because women are always quick to ask a guy to change his ways. Yeah. Which I find so stupid. The last thing I'm going to do is put myself in a situation where I have to change a man. I think I've got time for that. I've never been I think I've got time. <laughs> I've got time to go sit here and tell a guy, oh, change, you have to change your ways for me. I don't like the way you're doing that. You know what? You know why people do that? Because people are scared to be alone. That's why. So they just go it's separate true. for anyone and think, oh, yeah, we can make that work. Each is to the road. I have to, you haven't gone back to watch Love Island, have you? Don't even. No, because it's gotten like, I didn't, so the week we spoke even. about it, I didn't watch it that whole week because it just, yeah. And then the last week just gone, it's gotten more interesting. So I didn't even go catch up. I just watched it and I knew what was going on. And it was just like, okay, we're getting back to when we had like the second season and third season kind of Love Island kind of thing. Mm. And I thought, yeah, it's not too, too, too bad. No, not this year. Is it? So do you, anything you, want do you know what I've that? seen? Have no <laughs> you know, I'm waiting to watch the USA one. I've seen like the people in there. I've just seen like little clips here and there. And I just think, yes, this is what I'm here for. I but just I... want someone to fight. You want what kind of person are you? She said, I just want someone to fight. They won't show it even if they did. They'll be out. They they'll would. They would. They'll show the disagreement, but they won't show. No one's mm-hmm. gonna get into any kind of altercation like that. They were, they were, they've, they've, they've showed it before. No, it was just that one girl, and even then she that, left. When, when when the when the thing dropped, when the when the juice dropped on her leg, and then she was yeah, yeah, but that girls. was like one little yeah. They scuffle. still showed it. It's because these girls, these girls have no, there's no vim in this in this Love Island. These <laughs> men just talk behind each other's back. <laughs> need a, you need another Georgia. I'm loyal. No, I just want someone to fight someone. It's what boring. kind of thing? They haven't been fight, but they've been like a oh, bit like, of misunderstanding it's, it's and so stuff. Needy. It's decent. It's so it like is. I'm done. I'm actually done with Love Island. Is I feel like <laughs> the last time I enjoyed it, well, I think it was like season two, season three or something. I think it would have been your one. This season was decent. Huh? Your one. This season was decent with Amber and Nemlock. It's needy. That, that whole that season. whole thing. Listen, yeah. Fair enough. I watched it, but I can't <laughs> else to do. But if you think about it, you got man them going. Complaining to other men because he's talking to the girl he met two days ago, bro. Like, why are we fighting over guys we met two days ago? Ah, oh, she's such a shady bitch because she wants to go to this man. I can't even believe she's doing that. How I... dare she come in my face and talk to the guy I'm coupled up with? Sis! No, I get it, but here's the Sis. thing. Here's the thing. They feel like we see an hour and they're like, I'm... A day is not a day in the normal world because I'm with them 24 7. No, no, no. Being with someone 24 7 is different with just seeing them on face to face or seeing for the first time. So you're telling me you're in Love Island for six weeks and by the end of six weeks you're going to tell the guy you love him just because (laughs) you're with him 24 7. 
Stay you never there. know the moment I'll be in. Stay there. Baby, I love you. Stay there. It's all a bunch of fake shit. You don't know the moment I'll be It's clout. It's absolute clout. Oh, some of the... Majority of it is clout, let's be honest. Mm. They go there so they can come out and get, get a little yeah, little yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To or be honest, if, men if, they, if they go in there and they say, this is what I'm coming in here for, I hate it, I respect it. Like, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get the fame, but, you're going to get but sponsorship. But they, they can't say that because if they say that, then it's like, you know. The thing kind of said that you ain't been watching about this thing that kind of said that she was like. She's, she's just here for the clout. Yeah, she was like. Uh, but I then she ended up it. getting with someone else because obviously this I is what. I respect it, I respect it. It's a bunch of rock like that and Too Hot to Handle, absolute bunch of shit. I like Too Hot to You're telling me at the end of the five, six seasons that you want to be my boyfriend and you want to be my girlfriend. <laughs> now, Too Hot if to you, Handle. If you, don't terms... go, if you don't go find that door and you get <laughs> Too Hot to Handle in terms of like boyfriend and girlfriend, I feel like it's a bit more. Um, uh, so here's the thing. No, it's no, a short... <laughs> no. Wait, wait. No, what we're not about to wait, do. Wait. What wait. we're not about to do is accept the idea that Marvin and Melinda became Lost boyfriend and girlfriend for a day. For a day, that one hurt me. I'm not gonna lie, but to be honest, yeah. he asked. It was as soon as he asked, he's like, oh. <laughs> it's, I know he's the producers forcing him to do this. I would have been fine with two hot to handle with the way they do the series of why they're the guys are the people are there kind of thing. But we don't need the boyfriend girlfriend because that's not it's their fake. relationship. If you watch, I, saw, I watched like I was watching a, a clip of them like post and it's just an interview and they were like how yeah when in the end they got away with bare things they got away with, they were doing bare things like yeah, that. that what's, like, what's, yeah. what's, the, what's the what's the cone called? Um, Lana. Lana didn't even notice. Like it's. Bullshit. Is it? I haven't me, even seen that. You're gonna tell me these guys are gonna come on too hot to handle and the little two weeks or whatever they're in there. Yeah, Lana's they're gonna, not even there for that long. gonna change their way so the man them and the girl them want long lasting relationships instead, instead in of terms a one of relationship. Stand. If you don't get out of here with that bullshit. In terms of relationship, not, I don't really agree to it per se, but in terms of them somewhat growing, I kind of. I hear it. Them little, them little workshops to do is me, these absolute bullshit. It's done by the production. They forced everything they said. Out here giving me one, two tears that I don't really give a mm. crap about. They have you know, to the only to reality us, TV right? show I like to watch is the Love and Hip Hop, and I know they're about to fight each other. <laughs> and but they've, they've, they've minimised the amount of fighting in Love and Hip Hop. They've tried to. They've, yeah, they've tried. I say, yeah. Once you put a couple girls with a little bit of liquor in a room that don't like each other, mm. it's about to go down. Even growing up um, Atlanta and growing even, up Hollywood. Even though yeah. I don't watch that. Oh, that's really good. Even though we're not here for having black women on TV fighting each other. But entertainment is entertainment. <laughs> At least we, we all know what kind of entertainment you like, mate. Entertainment is entertainment. There's no more, if it's on TV, what can I do? I'm as, it's, either, it's either we don't watch it and my black fellow black queens don't get paid... <laughs> Or I add to the views. Well, you can say the same for um, Love Island for and um, Two Hot to Handle. Well, yeah, Love Island scrapped that. Two Hot to Handle. Uh, they're trying. People. They bring that one black there person and think that's it. Black, black people and and mix those guys. That ain't, he doesn't even count. No disrespect. And he's media. And he's, yeah, he's, like he's, he's doing a whole bunch of. Can you imagine? Thinking he's funny. I'm done with these people. I'm done. So yeah, I'm not gonna give my views up to Love Island because Love Island is just full of white people yeah, 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 yeah. they haven't even tried to make it any more inclusive yeah they bring in one colored person every year every year is one colored person and every other recoupling is another one yeah yeah and then, they, then they bring tan girls yeah and they think brown <laughs> <laughs> they bring tan girls and they're like yeah look they're darker they're not white <laughs> i mean bro they do, I so, feel like yeah. they do have a type when they go like picking the females and guys and stuff. Like a lot of the um they're doing Casa more now, starting to do whatever the situation is, and then like a lot of them coming in kinda of remind me of the guys that have just left them. Like, what's the difference? You're all coming just from different they're backgrounds. You all look the same. They're not even good looking. You all look the same. They're not even good looking. They need to give me like Ovi type guys from the beginning. Jesus is Lord. If they bring a Ovi type of kind of show with just full of the views they'll oh, get mashallah. the views they'll get because the way I help them promote it the views they'll get yeah mm-hmm. I'll watch that every single even if it's the deadest show in the world <laughs> I'm there 9 o'clock you said every 9 o'clock on the dot <laughs> ready to watch the show have you come across um Beauty and Beast on Netflix no 
don't watch these live shows like that. I don't. No, it, I was watching it. My aunt, she was watching it, and I thought it was I actually just got intrigued. So they literally put you as the ugliest character ever. Like they put you, you just look horrible. Like you do, like you what, don't they change your your appearance. Yeah, they give you like I won't say they give you like a character. Like let me show you, so you know what I mean. He sent a picture. <laughs> let me see. He sent a picture. He's so needy. Uh, you can't come and grab that little throw. Wait, wait, excuse me. <laughs> wait, excuse me. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, hold on, hold on. I feel violated. I feel so violated. Listen to me, son. You can't come, come and grab that little throw. Hey, listen, I'm 20 stone. Oh. Really. Send me some snaps of you if you like what you see. Ah. Let me see. <laughs> This is what he sent me. This, this is what he sent to me. <laughs> no, he violated. No, no, no way. I'm not laughing. I'm actually not laughing. No flipping way. Go on, Cougar. Go on, Cougar. Oh, my days. That doesn't even deserve a reply. Oh, I'd be like, babe. B. No way. You sent it with full co- Oh, I just had the feeling. I'm too old for you. You have a nice day, young man. No, I had a feeling. Something told me. Baby! <laughs> Let Marshall, me I'm 20 still. Let me not come then, grab your little throat. I feel violated by a little 20 old. Ain't no grown man, no grown man has come and said that to me, telling me some little twenty year old's gonna tell me he's gonna grab my throat. Fuck. No <laughs> way. I said a little twenty year old's gonna come grab my throat. No disrespect to him, I just knew like it's the same kind of people. Was young. I told you, I should put. <laughs> if I betted, if gambling was in her arm, yeah, I'd have put money down. No, them kind of people. I told you, was young. I told you from the second I heard his voice. No, them kind of people are the Little people boy. like it's the people with send up confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's too funny. And he sent his whole video of his hair. Stop. I didn't see one facial. I'm not I laughing. Said, Let me come grab your fo- <laughs> and do what with it? Uh, what do you want to do with it? <laughs> Finally, report you to your mum. <laughs> I don't report you to your mama, but let me come grab your throat. Hey, you little cougar. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not laughing. That's too funny. Yeah, he's messaging. I'm about to block him. Block it your Facebook. Block it your Snapchat. Block it WhatsApp. Block it, block it, block it. No one is above blocking. Oh, you Nigerians, huh? Nah, that's too funny. I'm done. I'm done, guys. I'm done. You see, if it's not an uncle moving to me, you have a twenty year old. You just boy. don't get the right one. And he added me, but my sister snapped. Didn't he see no, no nothing? I'm he just thought the name was nice, this isn't was it? Unprovoked. He thought the name was nice. This actually unprovoked. You actually don't even know what I look like, and it's how you're moving. And he tried to ask if he's a fan. You are a fan. Don't ask questions when you know the answer. <laughs> it's the confidence for me now, nah, but. Good no, job. No. You're 20 and you have that much confidence. No, no, well that's done. Disgusting. No, no that's well disgusting. done. That's you just using the right way. That's not even confidence. That's disgusting. No, she uses confidence don't the right way. Don't know telling me you're going to grab my throat. No. Nah, yeah, that needs to get reported to his mum. <laughs> I'm going to report that to Snapchat because that's sexual <laughs> No, it needs to get reported to his mum because at this point, what are we doing? What if I was 12? <laughs> and they mentioned that, oh, that's fine. No worry. I'll report it to the police. <laughs> Pedophile. Nonce alert. Nonce alert. <laughs> No way, no. I shit. need the right people to have the right confidence. I'm done. I'm done with these pretty boys having no confidence. Can you imagine? You just out here for looks. All I can do is look at you. Even like when you start talking to them after a week, you're bored. You just out here staring at you. I get bored after a while. This is it. It's not called being a beast. It's called sexy. So you look like that, and you just. So you're talking. You get put on free dates. And then you're just talking, talking, and you just have to go off personality because you don't know what no one looks like. They they do it to the fact that they c- cover all your nails, skin colour, everything. Have you watched, like, that naked one? I think that's a bit mad. 
I think that's just a bit mad. I think that's a bit mad. I enjoyed watching it. No, I think that's a bit mad. I don't... I just think... This, I watched it, so... Ah! I watched it before, but then I was at um Onion Shop getting my hair done, yeah? And then it was on TV. That. And then Auntie was like, excuse me, what is this? Is this? I just said, is this what you kid of this day watch? It was the funniest thing ever. She said, she said, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Oh Can we change the TV, God. please? <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. But I feel like that's a bit mad, though. I feel like that, that one's a bit... I, I don't watch it. I, if I watch no, it, it's because I'm coming it. across it. No, I've watched it a couple of times. And I, don't I think it. that's a bit... But to be fair, you, are, you, only, you only know what kind of people go on there anyway. But, um, yeah, no, I could have yeah. watched that. Yeah, exactly. No, but you know what? You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't, know it doesn't bother me. I've seen so many willies, so many vaginas, so many different things that when I see it, it's just, okay, it's what it is. No, it don't bother me to... my workplace, it's just... just, Yeah, no, I get that. It don't bother me to that extent where... I just find it weird. I find it funny. No, I just find it weird. I find it funny. I said she's judging it by his legs and judging it by how big his If I'm ever judging a guy by his leg, I'm never dating anyone because all these people don't like. It's just... Judging judging him by how big his dick is and how small it is. And you just see coming, some guys coming, some no, it's just small little shrimp. No, but it's not about the size. It's not, it's the size of the matter. How you use yeah. it. Yeah. But even then, so you still I've don't. Heard, so I've heard. But even then, I you still don't know because at the end, of the, you're that's you're judging by what you're seeing. So you don't know how he's gonna use it. So you're judging to see if I yeah, like yeah, it, yeah. if it's pretty enough. Yeah, but if 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 you've dealt with small things, then each did their own to be with this. But, but I find that, that shows so a bit. funny. Yeah. I find it so funny. I laugh every time someone naked just comes up. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when you said it, that's the first thing. The last time I've seen it was we were at the salon pretty late and it was on TV. We just, and then the music stopped. So all we could hear was that. And auntie said, Is this what you people watching this generation? <laughs> I felt uncomfortable. And he said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't even know it was. It was just too funny because I thought like she was being over dramatic for no reason. Because I hundred percent. Because I know for a fact you've seen bare naked people. You've seen bare. So they act- try act innocent. I hate it so much. I and it's like it you so act much. like we don't know. Wh- we're at that age where we don't know what we. I we're hate talk- it so much. Yeah. Every day try act innocent. Every day like they don't even know what the sex what sex, sex is. is. They've got six children. <laughs> Out here, I this see. Year. Out I know, here having step things as well. Auntie, I know he has you in different positions. Auntie, don't do that. You gave birth to six pekin. Some even give birth to that. 12. You want to tell auntie, me you don't, don't know what sex do is. That. Auntie, don't do that. <gasps> oh, you even have sister wives. <laughs> it's like an abomination for them to talk to you about it. Uh, absolute abomination. I don't, I don't like it ever. It's like, especially if you know, like, I get it if you want to act like that on people that are under 10s or very young people. I get it. But not when you speak to people that know what we don't need to know what you've been on, but we know what it's what it is. We know about we're it. All we're not kids. Here. We're yeah, all like adults. I'm not too. I understand fully what's going on. So it's like there's no need to act. I won't judge you. Like it is what it is. Who am I to judge you? Sis, you must get yourself what you want to get. <laughs> you must go enjoy your life. Each is to their own. Nah, like That's literally you each to You're their married. Own. You best go do everything and anything that you want to do. Nah, the answers are too in fa- funny. I'm ju- in fact, I'm judging you if you're not, not doing nothing. Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not doing nothing at your big and age. And you're big age and you're married. Oh. You best, you best be every other night. You best be enjoying you fully. You best be enjoying it until, until you get off fighters and your knees. You can't even bend down anymore. <laughs> Best enjoy no, days. they're just too funny. They're like the opposite of uncles. Uncles, please, 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 but I feel like it's going to we're kind of like I feel like in terms of like the younger gen and stuff they're kind of changing they're not like kind of thing people are speaking up more we're not accepting BS this is unacceptable you shouldn't be talking to me when I'm on the age you shouldn't be on that note what have you seen this week in terms of Christ that stood out to you or even something motivational that stood out to you I'm so tired man (laughs) quite a headache hello my knee Everything at the moment, isn't it? My whole body hurts. I feel like <laughs> I got hit two times worse than I actually did. Are you going to tell them what happened? No, I feel like it's a very stupid story. 
Fair enough. But yeah, so mine is just it's a scripture for um from Isaiah chapter forty one verse thirteen. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Mm-hmm. In fact that just speaks for itself to be honest. It does, it does. It speaks a lot. Some stuff don't you don't really need to speak on, no. it's kinda of just it's a powerful Yeah, scripture. on its own, yeah. Yeah, what about you? What have you seen? I haven't come across anything. You haven't? No, but um, this is what I usually go by. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I think that itself speaks for his own as well. Through it all, with his strength, you're always good. So you've, not, and you've seen nothing in Brooklyn, like no motivation in the last two weeks? Um, Probably have. We just haven't stuck. Fair enough. I yeah, I probably have, but just you know, the ones that don't really stick, and you only remember it in like certain times. You're just like, oh, okay, this is what it is. <laughs> this is what it is. On that note, this week's riddle is what's made of rubber ended out at some schools and exists to prevent mistakes. She's given that the answer. Well, she said it's easy, so I'm hoping you'll get it. You know what to do. I'm going to put a little poll out, put your answers in, or even if you want to send in your answers on DM before we put out the poll, you you can do that as well. Yeah. And yeah. He's been your host But the before month. we go, oh, sorry. Oh, I do apologise. I mean, where are we tomorrow? If you don't give out the right answer, we're not friends. We outside. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your bed, dumb. <laughs> You're so dumb. Are we not? TikTok has killed my people. Are we not? TikTok's killing my people. Are we not though? You've you me... g- As soon as you said that, I said, oh my gosh. <laughs> Are we not? If you don't give the right answer, you're not friends. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> are we not though? We are. We we really are. We're taking the most of the little thing we're getting. Nothing. You don't give the right answer. <laughs> But yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's been your host for the most. <laughs> I am in there. <laughs> and you was Tima. Love and guidance. We are. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs>